Hi, my name is Victoria. So I want to show you a tutorial today using ArcGIS on how to make a thematic map. Um, basically, at the end of this tutorial, you should be able to do um, this, what I have here for you. Um, this is the one that I'm going to be showing you how to do just for the sake of the tutorial. So uh, I use ArcGIS for this. So here we are. I started a new um, untitled map. <clears throat> so basically, to get started, you need to actually have a blank map. Uh, I, I used a shape file that my professor gave me, but for the sake of the video, um, I will look for a map and show you how to import it. So if you're looking for a, um, a map of the entire world, what you need to do is you need to go here and hit add data from ArcGIS online. So it's going to open this and it's going to show you basically all kinds of different maps that they have in the database. Uh, but you want a specific one. The one that I use that uh, we use in my GIS class is, um, I think it's, it's, yeah, World Countries Generalized. So this is what you do. You add it to your untitled map. <clears throat> it takes time. <laughs> okay, so after you import that here, this is what you should have. Um, it'll be whatever color your computer decides to do. Um, so <clears throat> this is just a blank map. There's nothing to it at all. Um, when you right click on this layer and hit open attribute table, It'll show you all of the countries that are listed here for you to put all your data in, which is very convenient. Um, so now comes adding your data, basically. So, um, just give me one second. Okay, so as you can see, you, can you only have this um, column here. So first, you need to add a field. So click here and add field and name it whatever you want. This one would be uh, fossil fuels because what I'm doing is electricity <clears throat> gotten from fossil fuels. That's what my map's about. Yours would be whatever. And then I hit float and I'm doing what my professor does because I'm basically making it look like the rest of the fields. So I hit 10 and then scale of 15 and um, yeah, whatever. And so that's what you get. And so now you can start putting in your data. Um, so now I'm going to show you where I get my data from. Right here. Uh, okay, so I get my data from the CIA um, fact book. Basically, this is a very reliable site. It basically shows you different things for every country in the world. Every, it, like, it shows you anything you want. Population density, um, ages, uh, invasive species. It shows you anything, anything you really want. All you have to do is select what you want. So <clears throat> they have geography, people, government, everything down here. What I'm specifically using is energy. So you want to click on whatever you want. I'm doing energy and go down to, I'm using electricity from fossil fuels. So you click on that and then it shows you <clears throat> the amount of electricity generated from fossil fuels in every single country, like every single country. And so that is what I use for the data set for my map. Basically, I just go through all of these and input them into my map right here um, to make it easier for you because on the CIA fact book they actually have it alphabetized so I do sort uh, I think it's descending no nope, sort ascending and then so that way you don't have to actually go looking for them it takes like so much less time when you do that so now we're going to go and basically just the dirty work and putting all of the points into this table. 
I want to make sure you know also before you put your data in, you want to make sure you go to editor here and actually hit start editing because otherwise it won't let you um, put any data in. See, like now I can put in whatever. But if I was to go If I was to go here and hit stop editing, then go to my attribute table, um, <clears throat> it doesn't let you put anything in. So make sure that you always check to make sure you've started, otherwise you're gonna get confused. So start editing. Okay, so now I have put in all of my data for the electricity generated from fossil fuels, as you can see. So now uh, you want to make sure that you keep saving your info as you do it, just in case, because you don't want to put all that information and then get it deleted by accident. So now you're going to close out. And now you're going to double click on your layer. You will then go to symbology. And basically, this is just how you're going to um, gather put all your data into color coordinated sections so that you can see which countries have the most, which countries have the least. So now we're going to go down to quantities. Um, value would be fossil fuel because that those that's the data that we're using for this one. Um, and then so here you're going to have to like reconfigure it based on what you like. Um, what I like to do is I like to flip the symbols so that the darker one is on top. Um, and then you see how they have all these placements right here. Um, you really don't need all of these. So in order to get all of those uh, decimal places off to make it look more clean, you want to go to label, right click, and go down to format labels. And you want to change the number of decimal places from six. I don't know why that's the default, but it is. And you want to change it to zero and hit okay. So now you can see that is just the, you know, the, the whole numbers. Um, so once again, we're gonna flip symbols. Um, okay, so now it should look like this. Um, basically where the most, the countries that use the most fossil fuels would be at the top with the most um, the highest percentage. Um, and then you can just use whatever color you want. If you're going with something like this, you really want to keep it one color so that it's not confusing. So you can really just pick anything. I picked green, but let's just change it to something else. I don't know. Um, we'll, do, we'll do purple. Sure. All right. So now that's set. So let's hit apply. And so now that's what we have. So now you can see, like, for example, the United States, they use around 71% of fossil fuels for their electricity. So they're a darker shade. So um, now that all the data lines up, uh, what we want to do now is give it a title, we want to give it a legend, a North Star, and all of that. So um, before you do that, um, you want to make sure that you're in layout view. So we were just in data view, and that's basically when you're just putting in all of your things and trying to figure out how you want the map to look. Um, so now you want to hit view and hit layout view, because now you're going to start putting in the title and all of the things to finish off your maps. So you want to make sure that you get it to look the right way. Um, and because the map is wide set, you want to make sure that you're um, in landscape mode rather than portrait. So to get it to be landscape, you want to go to file, uh, page and print setup. And you want to go to orientation and change it from portrait because that's not what we want to landscape. That way you get the right proportions. Uh, make sure it's also landscape down here and hit OK. And now you're going to take these points and just drag them to the corners so that it's to scale. 
okay? And now we can start adding all of our things. So let's just do the legend first. So you insert legend, as I just did. Um, you hit next, next, come on. Um, when it you get to legend frame, you can do whatever you want with this again. Um, I, I like to keep it simple, so I really, I just do something like this. Um, yeah. Um, yep. Finish. So you put that down here. So, um, oh boy. So, as you can see, um, this is your legend. If you want to like make it bigger or longer, whatever, that's your choice. You can do whatever you want with it. You can also make it look any way you want it to, um, and change the the words so that it looks better because mine doesn't look that great at the moment. And so now that the legend is here, um, and you, as you can see, the numbers are just numeric, even though what we want is a percentage like this is not these are not the actual numbers this is just a percentage of what the country uses so in order to change that to percent you need to go here again double click on the layer and you need to go to label once again right click format labels and instead of numeric which is selected you hit percentage instead and hit okay and okay okay and i did that place decimal places again so i guess you have to fix that again um okay so you hit numeric options and then you hit zero just like before okay and now you get up here you get percentages instead with not all those extra zeros because <laughs> that's not what you want. Um, all right, so that's your legend. So now let's go and add a title. Insert title. Title would be um, electricity generated by fossil fuels by country. Okay. Um, and so now we can go ahead and just edit that to whatever you want it to be. Like, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to hit change symbol. And now you can change the font to whatever you want. You can change the color, anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I fixed it a little bit. So I did um, this font, whatever you want again. And then I changed it to be size 36 so it fit better to the, um, the map layout. And then you hit okay, apply, okay. And then that's what you're left with. Again, you can put it wherever you want, try to get it in the middle. And so now what you wanna do is add a insert, um, where is it, north arrow. Um, I don't know which one I want to use. I'll probably end up using this one. Okay. And you want to put that in the right hand corner because every map should have this. Make it big enough so that you can see, but not so big that it obstructs everything else. Okay. And there you have it. That's the entire map. Um, so you can, you know, change the color, you can do whatever you want with it really. Um, but this is the way I wanted to do it. Um, and then if you wanted to export it, you could hit export map. And you can either export it as a JPEG or you could export it as really anything you want. Um, as you can see, I have many different ones that I did for my class assignments. Um, so 
yeah, you can save it into whatever file you want. And there you go. You have it. That's it.